And what's one thing he did when he was in office that made your life better, specifically? The economy. He rose the economy up. You see? He, he ended what you call slavery of the working class people. That's what he did. How did he do that? He created jobs, opened up the market for free trade, um, fair pricing, the whole nine yards. Well, I guess if you completely ignore the fact that Donald Trump gave President Biden an unemployment rate of nearly 7 percent a rate which Biden has brought down all the way to around three and a half percent. But hey, Donald Trump did lower taxes for families making over half a million dollars a year. Maybe that lady is part of that category. Now, again, you voted for President Trump. Did he find the magic wand to these manufacturing jobs? And do you find that comment offensive? I find it offensive. We are the magic wand. We are the people that kept GM here all that time. We are a caring community. We are a good workforce. I feel we kept GM here, not any president. So not only does Donald Trump have a history of stiffing blue collar workers, but he also likes to take credit for some of their accomplishments. Perhaps this is part of the reason that the president of the United Auto Workers won't even give him a meeting. He said, and I quote, I see no point in meeting with him because I don't think the man has any bit of care what our workers stand for, what the working class stands for. By the way, if Donald Trump really was keeping auto factories here in America, you'd think he could get a meeting with the president of the UAW. I think he kind of brought together a uh, uh, diversion between races. I think that, that things were good for everybody. Uh, Specifically what? Uh, Hispanics, blacks, whites, uh, everybody, all the, all the middle class. So uh, I believe he, uh, I believe he did that. What would you like to see him? Do? And he did it in four years and two and a half years. And now we're into uh, like, is the world going to explode? No, Donald Trump wasn't divisive at all. Unity among races, that's exactly what he brought to America. Listen, I'm not even going to further address the content of what that guy said. I just want to know what he's been sipping on. I know that he hasn't been drinking Bud Light, so what is it? What are they serving at these MAGA events? When he was president, what's one thing that he did as president that made your life better? Um, everything. <laughs> everything. One thing. One, one thing. Uh, I would say taxes and <laughs> you got me on the spot. I don't know. Dog ate my homework. I have no idea how he improved my life. I'm just at a rally to worship. I mean, support him. Can't blame the guy for not having any idea as to how Donald Trump improved anybody's lives because the fact of the matter is he didn't. Unless, of course, you're a billionaire or overly concerned with capital gains taxes. And let's face it, that's hardly any of us. Donald Trump knows something better than most. And that's something that Maya Angelou said a long time ago. She said, people will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And Donald Trump knows that these people will forget about his 26 plus sexual assault allegations. They'll forget about his six bankruptcies and his four indictments and his two impeachments because he's made them feel good. He's made them feel like they're a part of the greatest country in the world. Yet somehow that country is broken and only he can fix it. Ignore the fact that those two statements are completely contradictory. It feels good. And he's made them feel feel okay about being racist and homophobic and xenophobic and transphobic and Islamophobic and xenophobic. Remember what he said after Charlottesville, there's good people on both sides. And remember what he said to the Proud Boys, stand back and stand by. A little tip of the cap to the white supremacists. He's made them feel good about being American. He's made them feel like, forget about our past. We don't need to teach the kids about our racist history, about slavery or redlining or Jim Crow. He's made them feel good to be ignorant and uneducated. You remember what he said about the uneducated. He said, I love the uneducated. And if you watch a MAGA rally, you know what? It's working because these people are damn happy. Ignorance is bliss. I'm David Balaban for Rebel HQ.